So this is a little video I'm doing. I told you guys on my last video I was putting together my own canister filter. Uh, compliments of the idea from DIY Aqua Pros. I went ahead and got that finished up. So this is what I'm working with. Even the same color. Uh, did it like they said, except I didn't use a flexible riser. I used a stiff six inch riser. But it works fine. It doesn't leak. I don't know why, but the pump itself started making somewhat of a noise. I don't know if I have to adjust the ball valve. And I didn't really go too crazy with the output. I didn't make anything fancy. It does circulate the water nicely. The intake I went ahead and pimped out a little bit. Put that together with some uh, heavy duty PVC. It looks pretty good, but I want to do something with this. And I'm probably just going to put a, cut a piece of plexiglass for the lid. I'm going to make a custom lid with an above the tank basking area because my turtle needs to be in there. That's on to the next subject. This is my female Pacific musk turtle, Pacific Mexican musk turtle. And she had a white spot on her head. And initially I thought it was because of a bite that she sustained from the male because he's a little more aggressive than she is, even though he's smaller than her. And basically, she had some white stuff on her skin. It actually looks worse right now than it did. I don't know if that's because it's healing. What I did was, I put her in a quarantine. I got a filter in here and a heater, just the basics. I didn't want to dry dock her because she's really aquatic. And she doesn't really bask very much. But... I removed the carbon media from the filter and I bought aquarium salt for fresh water, not sea salt for oce oceanic bullshit. But anyway, I bought this and this is something, it's a new product, it's something that they had at PetSmart. I couldn't find the regular stuff that everybody's talking about i say everybody i mean like two or three videos i found on youtube but i followed all the instructions it's very similar to the the other treatment option that they have where you remove the the carbon i also added a little bit of salt not even a full teaspoon this is five gallons of water exactly and I've been keeping this water replaced. I just replaced this water yesterday. But I noticed the white spot on her head actually looks bigger. I don't know if that's because it's healing, but I assumed it was fungus, either that or some kind of infection due to a wound. Either way, she's alert. She hasn't been lethargic or you know unresponsive to feeding, but I just wanna stay on top of it because I've had her for a while and she's a healthy turtle and I want to keep her healthy. And plus these turtles aren't cheap. They're from Central America and the southern tip of Mexico. And I had to order it online and it's the pet stores out here. You can't even buy anything other than red eared sliders and map turtles and stuff. So it's an exotic turtle. So I don't want to lose it due to some stupid shit. So basically I'm doing what I need to do. If I gotta break bread and go buy some more stuff for fungus because this stuff don't work, then that's what I'll do. But I just wanted to do a little update on that. She's quarantined right now. This aquarium over here is for her. And like I said, I'm gonna pimp it out. She's not a basker. Most musk turtles other than like loggerheads and stink pots don't really bask i mean especially mexican musk turtles both the chiapas and the giant they don't bask they don't get out of the water 
you could put a tank with half water and half land and they would sit in a little bit of water. They don't want to get on land. That's just how they roll. Um, these little guys are doing pretty good. Baby yellow mud turtles. There's one of them. I don't know where the other one is right now. Got some guppies in there. I put a molly in there. These guys are doing good. This is a 55 gallon. I got that uh, badass Pocostomus, uh the high fan. I don't know, but he's really cool. This guy's doing amazing. And Mississippi mud turtle's doing good. I don't know what that is on my shark. It looks like he must have bumped into something because sometimes they go crazy in here. Little spotted Raphael. That was a waste catfish. I got a couple of those in there. That fish is a douchebag. For all I know, he might have tried to mess with this guy. But I'm gonna have to be getting rid of these uh, sharks. They're getting huge and uh, they were given to me. They're cool, but they're not really my thing. They're really crazy. When I pull, anytime I add water to this aquarium, they start zipping around and bouncing off of things in here and it's not cool. So. This is my Goins King Snake. I need to clean out his tank, but he's doing good as always. I'm gonna clean that out and pimp it out tomorrow. If anybody has any kind of knowledge about treating skin fungus for turtles, holler at me, man. Comment me, message me, let me know what's up because there's not a lot of information available on YouTube and uh, all of us turtle peeps need to stick together and spread knowledge amongst each other, you know? Not everybody can break bread on a vet. You know, that stuff can cost hundreds of dollars. We ain't all balling like that, so... If you have any info on the subject, let me know. Peace.